Acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis is a specific gum disease affecting mainly the interdental papillae and gum margin, and that it affects um, usually healthy young adults with poor oral hygiene. The causes are spirochetes, um, gram negative fusiforms, host factors of poor oral hygiene, cigarette smoking, and immune suppression. The symptoms are gum margin soreness or pain of sudden onset, bleeding, malaise, bad taste, and foul smell or foul breath. The signs that are usually elicited are crater like um, ulcers and necrosis, mainly limited to the gum margin and interdental gingiva. Also, poor oral hygiene, fever, and lymph node enlargement. Investigations are swap for caution sensitivity. The main treatment objectives are to eradicate bacterial overgrowth, to establish good oral hygiene, to control fever and pain. Non pharmacological treatments improve oral hygiene habits, for example, brushing at least twice a day, leaf, and also frequent antiseptic oral rains. Pharmacological treatment for treatment of infection. First line treatment: you give amoxicillin oral in adults one gram start and then 500 milligram six hourly for seven days. In children seven to ten years, you give 250 milligram six hourly for um, seven days. And three to seven years, you give 125 milligram six hourly for seven days. One to three years, you give 62.5 milligram six hourly for seven days. For individuals with penicillin allergy. You give clindamycin oral in adults 150 to 300 milligrams 6 to 8 hourly for 7 days. In children 12 to 18 years, give 150 to 300 milligrams 6 hourly for 7 days. And 1 month to 11 years, you give 3 to 6 milligrams per kilogram 6 hourly for 7 days. For pain and fever control, you give paracetamol oral in adults 500 milligrams to 1 gram 6 hourly as required. And in children 6 to 12 years, we give 250 to 500 milligrams 6 hourly as required. 1 to 5 years, we give 125 to 250 milligrams 6 hourly as required. In 3 months to 1 year, we give 62.5 to 125 milligrams 6 hourly as required. To refer all criteria, we refer all patients after initiating therapy to a dentist.